Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This video is part of my series on using Python to collect stock and other financial data. So in this video, we'll be talking about specifically how to use the Python package Yahoo Fin to scrape analyst and earnings data from Yahoo Finance. So for example, if you go to, let's say Apple's page on Yahoo Finance and you go over to the analysis tab, It'll show you a page that looks like this, where you see earnings estimate data, revenue estimate data, earnings history, uh, EPS trend, etc. So we want to be able to write some quick Python code that can pull back this data. And please make sure to like or share this video. And as always, make sure to uh, sub subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be notified about any future videos that I make. All right, so like in previous videos where we were dealing with the Yahoo Fin package, we're going to be working here with Yahoo Fin's stock info module. So I can import that by typing in import Yahoo Fin dot stock info as SI. And now let's start with pulling back the analyst data for a particular stock. So like on our example where we showed Yahoo Finance, we were looking at Apple's data. So let's use Apple as an example. Here I just need to type in si.getAnalystInfo and then in parentheses and in quotes, I'm going to put the name of the ticker that we want to get the data for. So in this case, Apple. And here I'll set this equal to a variable and then I just run this code. All right, so now let's look at our analyst variable. When we print that out, we can see that we get back a dictionary returned. And our dictionary contains the collection of tables that we just saw on the analyst page. So for example, we can see the earnings estimate table or revenue estimate table or earnings history table, etc. So for example, if, if we want to pull out a specific table, let's say analyst, um, we want to look at the earnings history table. Uh, we just type in our variable analyst and then in brackets and in quotes we type in earnings history and that shows us the earnings history for Apple. So in this case it's, it's showing us the earnings per share or EPS estimate and actual numbers for the last four quarters. And if we want to check out another table uh, it's the same process so we'll, we'll just use our variable name analyst and then in brackets just type in the name of the other table you want to look at. So for growth estimates, this will show us what the growth estimates table uh, looks like. All right. So in addition to the get analyst info function, there's also another function in Yahoo Fin called get earnings that allows us to get uh, EPS actual versus estimate amount for the last four quarters. And it also allows us to get back uh, revenue information on a quarterly and yearly basis. So let's go ahead and run that function. If I do si.getEarnings of Apple, and I'll set this equal to a variable. All right, so let's print out our earnings variable. We can see now that it returns a dictionary. And as I mentioned, this dictionary contains the tables with the uh, quarterly results, so quarterly EPS data, along with yearly revenue earnings data and quarterly revenue earnings data. So if I type in earnings and then in brackets, I put in uh, quarterly results. This will give us the actual versus estimated uh, EPS data by quarter. So similar to what we saw in one of the analyst tables. And let's say I want to look at uh, yearly revenue earnings. This will print out one of the other tables and here this will show us what the revenue and earnings data was by year going back for four years. And similarly, I could do that for uh, quarterly revenue earnings. All right, so that's it for this video. Please make sure to like or share this video and subscribe. So you'll be notified for future videos that I make. Uh, thank you so much for watching.